Hello, today's tech review is a drive over test. How strong are all these phones? Can they survive being driven over? Okay, starting from the right, we have an iPhone 3. I think this is a 3G actually. We have a 3GS, they're all working as you can see. That is a 4S, this is a 5C, and this is a 5. And here is a Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Uh, this belongs to my son and he will kill me if I break it by driving over it. Um, I'm not uh, anti-Apple in any particular way. I'm just testing these phones uh, and I'm also going to do the, the Galaxy Note 2 under the wheels of my car. So I'm going to drive over them, just showing you that they're all working. I'm backing this up onto the external SD card so that if I do trash it, I can give him something else to use. Um, hmm, yes, he's not going to be too pleased if I break it, but never mind. And uh, so we have five iPhones and the Galaxy Note 2 for a drive over in the car test. Um, a lot of people have asked me to do this test because I did it on the Moto G and the biggest request I've had is to do it with the iPhone. So here are five. Um, we haven't got the very most current model, although these two are still available new. Obviously the 5C is a current model at uh, January 2014. And the 4S is available new from a lot of carriers as well still. So um, the 5 is the nearest thing we've got to a 5S. And we're testing the old 3G and 3GS to see whether they're strong as, as, strong as uh, their reputation suggests. I guess this is going to break. I guess this and this may survive. This with glass on both sides might break and the 3G or the 3GS, I will probably only drive over one of these two because they're the same uh, chassis basically. So I think that the, uh, the 3GS or the 3G may well survive. Um, I think that they were best made of all these in terms of uh, of general overall construction quality. But um, I think that the 5C will do quite well here because it feels very solid in the hand. I actually quite like the build of this one, prefer it to the 5S and the 5. So as soon as the backup is complete on here, I'm going to put them under the car and film it from different angles and drive over it. And if anyone says it's fake, well, I've had a few comments like that too. Uh, you can think what you like. I am actually taking these phones, putting them on the ground on a cloth so that no sharp stones will break the screen wantonly and uh, seeing how they cope with 150 kilograms of car wheel driving over them. Yep, I drove it onto the scales and weighed it and it was 150 kilos. So that's equivalent of two adults and uh, it's quite a heavy weight for a phone to withstand. So let's see how they cope. Here we go, the test follows. Right, what is the end result? Well, the screen hasn't cracked on that. That's gone back to its home screen. So is that. And so is that. Interesting. That hasn't cracked either. But it's uh, still working. Hmm. Amazing.
Right, what is the end result? Well, the screen hasn't cracked on that. That's gone back to its home screen. So is that, and so is that. Interesting. Samson. That hasn't cracked either. But it's uh, still working. Hmm. Well, there you go. All five of them still seem to be working okay. Right, let's just take them inside and have a closer look at them and see what sort of damage they may have uh, sustained or not. Right, there we go. Is my teenage son going to be very cross with me for driving over this? Well, it seems okay. It's unlocking, the screen's working properly. It doesn't seem to have sustained any damage at all. No cracks. Interestingly, all the cameras stopped when I drove over them. We'll have a look at the iPhones next. Well, the iPhone 5 has a nice um, tire print pattern on the back of it. I don't know if you can see that. It's picked up the, the treads off the tires on the car. It should have seen the drive over. And it did. And then it stopped for some reason when it got driven over. Not too sure why, never mind. At least it did record it. Okay, that's the iPhone 5. Survived and seems to be absolutely fine, unless this message says, hey, you've just driven over and broken me, which it doesn't. So um, that's working just fine. There's the iPhone 5, survived the test. How about the 5C? Well, it seems to be working okay. Let's just check the video back. Does this one work as well? It's amazing, they actually seem to have accepted this uh, mistreatment very well. So the 4S video. Yeah, it's playing back the video too. And the 3G. Well, I didn't shoot a video with the 3G because it doesn't work with video, but um, it does seem to be working just fine. The touch screen's okay, and there's no SIM card in this, so it won't have any of its features, but it seems to have survived okay. There's no cracks, no damage to the shell of the phone. No, it really does seem to have survived that very well. So all of them survived the drive over test, which is actually quite surprising. I was expecting the back of the Samsung to break, but uh, there's no damage to the back of the Samsung either. Uh, I think we're there. I think we have a successful video on all of them.
I'll tell you which screen I prefer. Okay, so they all stopped recording when the car drove over them. They all managed to record the video, but the second the car drove over them, for some reason, they all stopped recording. Now, the Moto G carried on recording when I drove over that, so it kind of wins in this situation. But uh, it's funny how they all stopped recording when they were driven over. I'm, I'm really surprised at that. But they all did manage to record a video of being driven over, and they all seem to have survived none the worse the wear for their experience. So I'm quite impressed really, these smartphones, obviously people do uh, accidentally drop them uh, all the time, it's one of those things, but uh, the manufacturers of these seem to be making them quite resilient and very strong, able to withstand uh, you know, general accidents, everyday accidents that might occur. So uh, congratulations Apple and Samsung and Motorola in the case of the last test. So thank you very much for watching. The next test I will be doing, please keep a look out for it, and if you subscribe you will get a notification when it's done and on YouTube, is going to be the iPhone 3GS, the iPhone 4S, the iPhone 5C and the iPhone 5 cameras versus the Samsung Galaxy Note 2, uh, the Sony Xperia Z1 which has a fantastic 20 megapixel camera on it. I also have a couple of Nokias to test. I have the Nokia 1520 uh, tablet phone, which is also a 20 megapixel camera on it, very high quality. I'm also going to test the Nokia 1020 PureView Windows phone and its predecessor, the 808 PureView. Both these phones have 41 megapixel cameras and I will do a separate test on those two phones uh, against each other as well because there are significant differences in the cameras between those two phones and the 808 PureView uh, actually has the better camera uh, for general purpose photography but we'll come to that in another test. So thanks for watching, please do remember to subscribe, like the video, it does help, um, just even watching the video does help uh, with the funding to buy all these phones and test them out because basically after I've finished with them uh, some of them are trashed and that is you know two or three hundred pounds each time. So thanks for watching, it does help to fund uh, the next tests and if you have any special requests or questions please ask them in comments and I will try to answer for you.